Hold the train, hold the train, hold the train. Wait for me. Good morning. Welcome to the simple guide to Toronto's Union Station. We are at the main entrance to Union Station, which is right on Front Street in downtown Toronto. And so you don't end up like that guy who maybe missed his train. We'll look at how to use all the different modes of transportation here at Union Station. That includes via rail, Union Pearson Express or up, Go Transit, Go Buses, the Subway, Greyhounds, and more. There are timestamps in the video's description if you wish to know about a specific mode of transit or destination from Union Station. Now, before we go inside, let me first say that one location for taxis can be found right here outside the main entrance on Front Street. Cabs are almost always waiting here just for you. Okay, let's go inside. This is the Grand Hall. We will use it to help orient ourselves in this video. It's primarily used as a train station for Via Rail, a train that travels all across Canada. Purchasing tickets can be done right here in this hall, if not done online. Customer support is also here as well. You can find departure times and gate numbers on the big screen in the middle of the Grand Hall. As for the gates themselves, they're found here in the Via Concourse. In this concourse, you can see that the gates and little waiting alcoves are plentiful here. There is also an alternative entrance here for some GO Transit as well, but I'll get to that later. Also located here is a baggage check, just off to the side of the concourse. Now at boarding time, simply line up at the gate and a customer service person will direct you to your train. And off you go. That's it. Have a good trip. Now the next transit mode we'll look at is UP, or the Union Pearson Express. A train that runs from Union Station to the airport. The path to this train can begin from the Grand Hall. Just follow this sign. You'll then walk onto the Skywalk, which will actually take you all the way to the Sky Dome and CN Tower and Ripley's Aquarium. But we're only going as far as the train today. As you can see, this train leaves pretty steadily most days, but always check the schedule ahead of time. Now, we'll just go up this ramp here, and the train is immediately on our left. However, when we get to the top, we're confronted with this payment tapping device. You can pay for the train by tapping debit or credit and pay $12.35 for a one-way ticket. But you could also buy a Presto card for $4 from one of these machines. A Presto card is basically a discount card, so it only costs $9.25 for one way. If you're taking a round trip, then you're better off buying a Presto card and using that instead. Look, an up train is pulling into the station now. Just board after tapping, and that's it. No other tapping is required if you're traveling from Union Station. So here we are back at the Grand Hall, and we're going to look at a few pathways to take a GO train. A GO train can take you all around various regions of Southern Ontario. The GO's home base is both the Bay Concourse Hall and the York Concourse Hall. We'll take this one. This is one entrance to the concourse, but there are several. It can get quite busy here, but if you're looking for your train, just look up. Many signs like this will give you your platform number when it's close to boarding time. Look at the top left here, Lakeshore West, platform five and six. Let's pretend to take that one. So let's find the platform. Hmm, not this one. Oh, there it is. But before we go, we must Hey, this is a payment machine. They're right by the doors. We simply tap a credit or a debit card to pay our fee. But 
again, we could also tap a Presto card for a discount. You can purchase Presto cards here as well, or reload them. We then proceed through the door with our platform number, and we arrive at the GO trains. That's us, platform 5. We can now board the train, but be sure not to sleep through your stop. Now, whenever you arrive at your destination, be sure to tap off at that station so you're charged your proper fare. Safe journey! Once again we're at the Grand Hall and we'll see a few ways to take the subway. So we'll start by going down the stairs right here. When we get down here we'll go along this hallway, follow the signs, and we'll see where this path leads to in a moment. First I just want to show you or quickly show you an alternative subway path if you're in the GO train concourse already. If that's the case, just look for the escalators. They're hard to miss. Just go on down them and walk through the food court. Then you'll walk through Union Market and you'll end up here or somewhere very similar, which is also where you'd arrive if you were coming to the subway via the Grand Hall. Now just go down the escalators, turn to the left, and you're at the subway entrance hall. This entrance hall is on Front Street, so you could actually enter or exit the subway from this other point as well, above ground. Now to take the subway, we enter here, and it's another tapping system. Same deal. Debit, credit, or get a small discount with Presto. Oh, that one didn't work. There we go. All right, we're in. There are two subway lines and a streetcar, which I'll mention in a moment. Pick which subway line is best for you. There are maps handy. Then we walk down to our subway, it arrives, and off we go. Now, regarding that streetcar, you can access it from the Young Line, and there are signs to direct you. There are two streetcars here that begin on the same track. There is the Exhibition Line, that runs along the waterfront and will take you to Billy Bishop Airport or the CNE, and a Spadina line that will take you up in the Chinatown and eventually to the Bloor subway line. Here comes the streetcar now. Just make sure when you board, you first let everyone off first. Then the streetcar will move and ring its bell, and then you board, and off you go. The final mode of transit I want to show you is the GO Bus in Greyhound. For that, we have to go through the Bay Concourse, which is accessible through the Grand Hall and other locations. And we actually have to go through the ACC, or Scotiabank Arena, to actually get there. Once inside, we find ourselves here, and we're looking for the Union Station bus terminal. So we must go to the far end and use this escalator. We proceed on the left here, and we get to the terminal. First thing we see is the service counter. This is where you'll buy a Greyhound ticket or any other specialized ticket. Now, for the regular old GO bus, which, like the GO train, will take us around parts of southern Ontario, we need to find our gate number, and maybe our broader zone number. All that information is up on the screens above us. Some gates may also be downstairs, so just take note of that. There's plenty of customer service people all over Union Station, so you can always ask if you're not sure of how to find something. That's what the inside of the gate looks like, by the way. In terms of the GO bus, you tap inside the bus with debit, credit, or presto, because that's where the payment machine is, inside the bus. And you must also tap off the bus when you exit. That's it. Now, if you're arriving on the bus, you just do what we did in reverse. You can catch all transit connections there. Now, I'll also just mention here that there's lots of food and shops at Union Station. There's this relatively new thing called Union Market. You can access it from below the Grand Hall, or it's accessible via the York and Bay concourses. There you'll find fancy pastries, chocolate, flowers, but there are also shops just all over Union Station for everything. Whatever you need, it's probably at Union Station. 
Finally, there are also entrances to the path all over the place. The path is basically an underground mall that is quite an extensive network and fun to explore. But that's for another day. All right. I hope that this was helpful in some way. And I also hope that you consider subscribing for more videos on life in Canada. I'm only like 993 subscribers short of a thousand. So consider subscribing and safe travel.